Dobrý den. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Vladimir Karin. I'm um, the statutory representative of uh, Albertina Icome Prague. And uh, uh, let me take uh, the liberty to start uh, today's webinar and hand over to Gillian Howcroft. Okay, thank you, Vladimir. Good morning, and uh, good morning, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Gillian Howcroft. I'm the head of sales for the Computer Society, and um, I'm today. I'm in my office, which is near Boston. Um, obviously, you can hear I have an English accent, so I'm originally from England, but now live in the USA. Previously worked for um, Thomson Reuters and Taylor and Francis journals and recently joined the Computer Society. So uh, today for our agenda, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the Computer Society, how we are part of the IEEE Society. We'll have a look at our publications and our platform, including a live demo, cover our conferences and papers, and then we'll talk about how you can take a free trial and um, if you have any questions, uh, we'll take those at the end and Vladimir will moderate those questions. Okay, so let's get started. So we are very much a global society and community. We share a passion for advancing computer science. In our 75 years of history, we have witnessed many breakthroughs in research. We have volunteers all over the world who meet at conferences or at their local chapter and actively participate in our society. We could not do it without them as they help drive us and the science forward. We are very proud to be part of IEEE, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. Um, IEEE is made up of 38 different societies who are engaged in advancing technology for humanity. The Computer Society is actually one of the largest and therefore one of the most influential members within the IEEE portfolio. Within our digital library, we offer unparalleled content. We host a diverse range of publications, including uh, 45 journals and technical magazines, conference proceedings. We cover a wide spectrum of topics within the realm of computer science and have just under a million papers now in our digital library, which includes a full archive back to the 1960s. If you look at our portfolio, nine of those 45 journals are number one in their field. For example, Security and Privacy, which you can see on the screen, is the leading technical magazine in its field. So you can look no further for quality publications from the Computer Society, but we invite you to trial the product and see for yourself. This is a list of the different magazines and journals that we have. And with those, you can meet the needs of your faculty, whether they're researching or teaching, your students. It's a reliable and comprehensive product. Whether you're looking for foundational papers or the latest advancements in emerging technologies, you can rely on the Computer Society Digital Library to provide the information you need to help move your institution forward. We also have um, one completely open access title. Every um, journal is a hybrid model. And we also have our colloquium, which is like a monthly digest of all the latest articles that you can read in one place. These are just um, some of our leading titles with the latest impact factors provided by um, Clarivate Web of Science this year. 
Um, effective computing is all about the impact of computers on humans and pattern analysis and machine intelligence is um, the journal that goes with our computer vision conference, which is um, one of the most uh, well attended conferences that we have. In fact, I think they have about 9000 submissions for that one conference and they publish about 2000 of those papers. So it's uh, really well respected in its field. <clears throat> now, when you access our content as a subscriber, you will go straight to the full text HTML. And from there, you can go on to download the papers that you're interested in reading more. Um, some of our titles have won prizes, for example, the, um, the Annals of the History of Computing was awarded the Mahoney Prize, which commemorates the late Princeton scholar Michael S. Mahoney, who made a huge contribution to the field through his numerous articles and book chapters. And that essentially gives you the entire history of computing, which is relatively modern. We also offer um, technical magazines, um, and these are um, cover a spectrum of topics with more practical applications within the realm of computer science aimed at undergraduates. Um, they are peer reviewed, so the magazines are handled with the same standard that we handled the journals. Within the product as well, we also have our software engineering body of knowledge, which is called SWEBOC. Um, it is an internationally respected guide to the software engineering industry. You can download it for free when you have a subscription to the digital library. Uh, we're in the final stages of a new version uh, four, which is coming out uh, at the end of this year. And it really is the most authoritative, fundamental and trusted definition of the software engineering um, <clears throat> profession with 15 knowledge areas that summarize everything a software engineer needs to know with detailed reading lists. And um, for those who are interested, we also have like a, a learning management system with examinations, which is separately done but is available for um, any schools that wish to, wish to take this course and then take their students through the exam process. So CSDL is multidisciplinary. It covers a huge range of computer science, everything from AI, machine learning, uh, blockchain, cloud computing, um, but more than that, you can explore the latest developments, trends, breakthroughs, and also then it's conveniently offering um, related fields as well. So the history of computing, sustainability with our transactions on sustainable computing. If you're offering games design, uh, we have the graphic design and art. Um, it also appeals to math, medicine, uh, through computing in science and engineering. As I mentioned earlier, the impact on humans with effective computing looks at the psychology and behavioral sciences. And then of course we need to cover the ethics, laws, business, as these are developing um, and security and privacy. An IT professional will keep you up to speed on the latest on that. Um, in terms of our platform, it is responsive. So whether you are looking at it on your desktop or your telephone, it's going to size appropriately. Um, for the library, um, we can add your institutional logo. We offer web banners so that the uh, users know you have the resource. Um, author affiliations are um, nice and clear. Um, we offer rapid search and filtering, um, social features, so you can share with a friend, discuss more easily with colleagues, find new collaborators. Um, content is added every day. You can sign up for our RSS feeds to be alerted. The math is clickable in all the HTML. 
and citations are available in multiple formats, including EndNote, BibTeX. Um, we have Google subscriber links uh, because as we know, <clears throat> excuse me, many of our students start in Google. Mm. And the subscriber links program makes sure they link straight to the subscribed for version of record. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We also offer CASA, which allows them to um, follow their access remotely. All our content is count counterfeit compliant. <coughs> and you can self-service usage or use the har sushi harvesting. And we offer online training with help videos and more. So this is the um, search box on the library where you can um, start your search. So I'm going to click on here and we'll go and do a quick live demo into the product. <coughs> I will turn off my video because I'm at home. So I'm hoping my Wi-Fi will be fine. So let me just turn off my video if I can. Um, stop video. Could you let me know if you can see the screen? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Yes, of course. So, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do a very quick demo here. This is my my search point. Um, I logged in earlier, so my login is up here. Just about see the G. It's obscured by the video in my. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to do a search for Python, which is one of my favorite searches, um, and. Very quickly, you will see that I have um, rather a lot of results about Python programming, as you would expect in a computer science library. So, um, you know, from here, I can do lots of different things. I can look, I can export these results. I can go here and do filtering. So I might want to say, I just want to see the very latest so it's very simple. I can just move this um, filter along to perhaps look at the most modern stuff from 2012 to 2024. I can then also filter for the publication. So if I have a particular publication I know is strong, I can select that and it will filter down again into the into uh, just those articles from that title. I might have a favorite author that I want to look at. So I can literally just select that and we can look at um, that person's papers as well. Um, if I hover over Ian Foster's name, I can see he's associated with the University of Chicago Department of Computer Science, at least when he has published this article with us, which is brand new. So um, hopefully he is still there. If I want to look at the citation, very easy, click on it, and then I can copy, paste that into my paper for the references, or I can download and copy and paste that way as too. And I can simply look at the different formats depending on what is required by that department for the paper. <clears throat> okay, so um, now I'm going to have a look for a particular author. So I'm going to clear all of this, get rid of these various filters that I put on. Why is that not coming off? Oh, that's because it starts in 1960. Apologies. So I'm going to look for somebody called Ladislav Hluki. Hopefully I've not pronounced that too badly. Oh. And see if this person has published anything with us. And I can see that he has published uh, several hundred articles with us. So he is obviously a fairly prolific author um, and publishes 
uh, particularly publishes a lot of conference papers with us. Uh, this one is from, he's at the Institute of Informatics, Slovak Academy of Sciences in Bratislava, Slovakia. And um, he is publishing a lot of conference papers with us. <clears throat> so this is an example of what a conference paper looks like. This conference happened in Greece uh, in 2022. And all the papers are down here that we can we can have a look at these various papers. So conference papers being very, very helpful for the very latest resource. Um, <clears throat> if I want to see my subscriptions, I quickly click here and I can see all the different titles that I have access to. I can go straight into the title from here. And if I want to check on the aims and scope, I'm going to have a look at the about section. And this will tell me a little bit about this paper to see if this is something that I wish to read. And if I decide I would like to read this, I'm going to go back and have a look at the latest issue. Um, which I can simply download, or I can look at the very the table of contents for the paper for this particular issue very easily. Click into it. I can have a look at the authors. I can download from here. I can share the article very simply with uh, social sharing, or with I can email it to a colleague. I can generate the citation. Um, and then I also like the fact that there's some other reading that it's suggesting that might be helpful to me for the for the topic that I'm interested in. So I can quickly go and have a look at some other articles that I might be interested in as well. And it's pretty easy to navigate using the various buttons. Um, I can also quickly browse and go straight into the magazines, the journals, our video library, um, conference proceedings from there. Um, in resources, we have um, access to our help center, which is here. This is where you can go to get help. And there's lots of information here that basically tells you how to do everything you need to know about the setting up the product. So if I jump back in here now, um, I might want to have a look at the colloquium because this is just being published September 23. Mm -hmm. And this is a very interesting digest of <clears throat> all the articles that were added in the last month to the product. So it's a quick and easy way to see everything that was recently added. So it's just loading here and then I can do, you know, get my citation, download the articles, etc. And then here on the side, it's telling you which of the titles that we publish these articles are in as well. So it's a very simple product. It's easy to use. Um, that pretty much is as much as I need to show you. So I'm gonna jump back into the presentation now. And I'll pop my video back on. Okay. So um, we offer a huge amount of technical conferences all over the world. Um, and 
it really is one of the standout features of the um, Computer Society is our extensive range of conferences, workshops. I attended the Computer Vision uh, Conference in Vancouver earlier this year, and I could not believe the number of poster sessions, the number of um, papers that were presented, the enthusiasm of the students as they came up to our booth. It was, it was great to be able to attend um, one of these conferences and see for myself what it was, it was like. Um, we also, for some of the conferences, the papers are published before the conference. Um, and then they're also, the final version will be published after the conference. As I'm very sure you're aware, it's the very latest research coming out of the conferences. It's a great way to keep up with trends and innovations, to identify um, future collaborators. Uh, we have over 9,000 papers um, in the conference uh, zone, including their archive. And um, from working with um, policy um, company called Overton. We know that our proceedings are cited in government and non-government policy around the globe, which is fantastic for the author to know that their papers are being used uh, purposefully. Um, and these are included with your full CSDL subscription. Um, we are a global community. We're diverse, like-minded professionals, academics, and enthusiasts. We share a passion for advancing the frontiers of computer science. Um, and I mentioned earlier that we are part of the IEEE family. So our content is included within the IEEE Product Explore. So, um, so I wanted to share that with you in case you were sort of saying, well, what's the difference between you, your product and their product? So we are a subset of Explore, um, but having said that, we're a great alternative for more limited budgets that are focused purely on computer science. So you get a lot of product for your spend with just the computer science digital library. And we are the only um, family member that is allowed to sell its own product as well. So you may be able to meet your needs for computing IT business programs for a much lower price. So if you want the full um, IEEE electronic library with its 5 million documents and the 200 journals from across the uh, the family, uh, that may be the product for you, but if you just want to focus on computer science, we can offer you uh, nearly a million documents with the top journals in our field of computer science, and that's compared to um, all of the well-known competitors. So our product um, is built as a, uh, there's no concurrency, you can have as many people on it and eat as much as you like. It's non-perpetual. Um, the license can start at any point in the year, or you can go for a calendar, Jan to December. It's completely up to you. We offer a 30-day free trial. We can go a bit longer if you need more time. And we'll prepare, provide the usage reporting every two weeks during that trial so that you can discuss um, with AIP. Uh, how it's going, um, what else you need to do. Uh, we have some trial um, banners you can use. Um, so if you need to stay up to date with the ever evolving landscape of computer science, then the Computer Science Digital Library will help you do just that. And please do contact Vladimir and the team to discuss um, your needs further. So that is pretty much everything I wanted to say. So thank you ever so much for listening. And if anyone has any questions, we can take them now. Thank you very much, Gillian. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, I think um, uh, most of the questions were already 
uh, answered in uh, in your presentation. But uh, if there's uh, if there are any others, please let me know. Uh, you can uh, just unmute your uh, microphone and start speaking, or if you uh, if you prefer. You can write it even in Czech into the chat, and I will uh, translate for Jillian. So it looks like there are no questions. Okay. Right great. now. If you can think about uh, um, about any questions later, you can always uh, write me an email. Um, you've uh, received the invitation uh, from me. Uh, so uh, all of you uh, have my email. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Jillian. Thank you very much, everyone, for participating. Uh, and uh, uh, we will be looking forward to your interest. Thank yeah, you very much. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Thank, thank you for your presentation.